Good morning. A long time ago, I had a professor. She was not Catholic. It was, she was agnostic. When she realized I was a priest or training to be a priest, she told me, oh, you better study, she pointed to some place, you better study these people. They are the born again. They, they are the fundamentalist Christian group. You better study them. They don't do anything except to sing and to cry, something like that, uh, because the worship service of the born-again Christians were just about singing songs, Christian songs, and weeping and, and crying. They were very emotional about their relationship with the Lord. Come to think of it, this professor was right in a way. She was correct because what she wanted to study is how people, to use marks, use religion to become an opium or to drug themselves, so to speak, so as they do not protest about social conditions, but they just become religious or have that religious experience to forget about it, to forget about issues of colonization, dispossession of land, poverty, and not to do anything about it except to pray about it, to sing, and to weep. In another sense, the professor is wrong. Wrong because people need to feel God's presence in their own lives. In fact, it is the very presence of that God that they feel in their hearts and in their lives that allow them to survive the mostly inhuman conditions that they are living in. So you see, it is kind of a paradox. It is right and it is wrong. There's, of course, a greater story, and that is what we read in today's Gospel. It is called the Passover. And an ancient author in an Easter homily tries to explain the Passover by saying that, really, Jesus passes over us. He passes over us. And sometimes we could not feel that presence. He is passing by. And sometimes we don't even understand that He has already saved us once and for all in, when He offered Himself. That is what we do not understand. And that is why we do not recognize that Jesus is already passing over us, that Jesus has passed by. In the Gospel written by John, Jesus explains that, and He uses the metaphor of wind, a wind passing by. And it seems to be a very important explanation that Jesus uses in today's Gospel. And the best metaphor that he could use is wind passing by. That is what he tries to tell us today. You see wind passing, passing by, you can hear it. You can hear the wind <sighs> passing by. You can even feel it. And you know, oh, but you don't know where it's coming from and you don't know where it is going. Using this Metaphor, Jesus allows us to understand the entire salvation history, the entire purpose of His coming. We know because He told us. And what did Jesus tell us about Himself? He comes from the Father. And where will He go? that he will go back to the Father. That is the mystery. And yet, he comes from the Father and he goes back to the Father only because of one purpose, and that is his passion, his death on the cross to save us. At the middle of the reason why he came and why he goes back to the Father is us. 
that is us. And so, my brothers and sisters, when we begin to understand more Jesus explaining to us about himself, then we become born again. Jesus gives us the formula of a life in the Spirit. To be spiritual, therefore, is not to be floating around, praying as if you are not from this world. To be spiritual, to live in the Spirit means recognizing the presence of God to us because He has already passed by. He has already redeemed us. And He continues to pass by. In the Eucharist that we celebrate, in the gathering of, the, when we gather together in prayer like this, when we listen to His Word, He is passing by. Let us pray that every time He passes by, we recognize His presence. Then truly, we live in the Spirit. We are born again.